In this video, I'm going to discuss a topic that I've never actually discussed on this channel, and I think it's a wonderful topic, and it definitely needs to be addressed. So I'm going to start by reading an email I got, which is fantastic. It comes from Australia. Now, I haven't read the email fully. I've glanced at it, but I see what the person's asking. So let's read it carefully, and we'll address the question, because this is important, and this is something that is going to come up and it's going to affect everyone at the undergraduate and at the graduate level in mathematics. His name is Alex. Uh, I'll leave his last name out of it. Mathematics explanations and tests. Hi, Math Sorcerer. I'm a student in high school, currently year 12 in Victoria, Australia. We have the VCE system here and I'm doing mathematical methods and specialist mathematics, the two highest maths of the curriculum. I just wanted to say that I love your methods and I have been a long time fan for a while. I do extremely successful in my subjects and have little trouble understanding the content. However, in my tests and assessments, I struggle with writing too much in words, explaining what I am doing or where I get things from. My teacher tells me this is a waste of time and could be better spent refining and checking over answers. I am inclined to agree, but when I lack these explanations, it is also similarly critiqued. I am at a loss and want to improve this behavior before my end of year exams. Thank you for being so easily reachable and continue to make amazing videos as usual, respectfully, Alex. I, I just got goosebumps. I just got goosebumps because this is a wonderful question. Okay, this is something that affects everyone. So first, let me just give you my brief experience, and then I'll, I'll try to give you good advice. Hopefully someone else also has advice, and I'm sure people do, because this is a really tough question, and I think the answer is one that is going to be very difficult. So if you have any advice for Alex, leave a comment, especially if you're a teacher or if you're a student. Um, all perspectives are important here, because this is something that, that happens. So as a student, I was always very good at explaining things. And, and like you, I explain things in words. And looking back, I, I do wish that I would have explained more in words because I think it's really good when people do that. I, I've graded exams from students I've had in the past and they explain everything in words, just basic calculus exams. And they go through and they explain all the steps and, and sentences. And when I look at students who do that, I think these students are developing skills that a lot of other students don't have because when you get to mathematical proof writing, that's what you're supposed to do, right? A mathematical proof is a paragraph style proof. It's an argument. It's a logical argument where every single step is explained. And at the undergraduate level, which you're not even there yet, you're in high school, that is absolutely critical and required and expected. So if you go to college after this class is over and you study mathematics and you take a proof writing class in mathematics or a linear algebra class or an abstract algebra class or a real analysis class or any class where you're writing proofs, it is going to be absolutely expected that you justify every single step and you will not be critiqued for those explanations. Now, Flip side of that is when you go to graduate school, the explanations, you're expected to write papers, or rather expected to write proof papers too, but expected to write proofs at, at a different level, at a much higher level. So your explanations have to be a little bit more pro. For example, I remember uh, turning in an assignment uh, in a commutative algebra course I was taking in graduate school, and I got my paper back, and I remember the grader used a purple crayon and they wrote, this is obvious in, in a purple crayon. I thought, oh my God, here I am, like I'm up all night and someone with a purple crayon is critiquing my work. I just felt so defeated by that purple crayon. And not only that, I had explained something in detail. It was something from field theory. And I wasn't sure if it was something I was expected to know. And the reason was, is that I actually never learned field theory in school. I was 100% self-taught on that particular 
subject in abstract algebra. I taught myself field theory because we didn't get to cover it as an undergraduate. So I had read the book by Beachy and Blair. I read every section on field theory. And it was something from the book that I was citing, but I basically reproved the result. The person grading my work thought it was obvious and they wrote, this is obvious. So I felt defeated. I thought, wow, that's obvious. I still have to think about it because in my mind, I didn't really have the result memorized yet. I was kind of like working through the process to get to the result because I was self-taught. It's not something I, I, I learned in a class where they said, this is a theorem, you should know it. No, I kind of knew the process. And so my solution ended up being a little bit too long-winded, which is what's happening to you in your case. I think your teacher is, is looking at your explanations and they're thinking, okay, uh, well, why, why is this person explaining all of this? They need to focus on, on getting it right and not making mistakes. So based on what you're saying, the only explanation I have, this is just, I'm, I'm trying to side with the teacher here. The only explanation I have for trying to see their point of view rather, is that maybe you're making mistakes and they want you to check your work. But then it says when you lock these explanations, you're also critiqued. So it feels like you can't win, Alex, <laughs> right? Because if you're explaining things, you're getting criticized. If you're not explaining things, you're not getting criticized. I think this. I think as long as your mathematics is correct, I think it's okay. I think that's the most important thing. I think it's okay to overexplain. I don't think that you should let this hinder you, but just make sure your math is correct because uh, your teacher is telling you it's a waste of time and it could be better spent refining and checking over answers. Okay, so let's the refining part, let's leave that out of it. But the checking over, as long as your answers are correct, that's important. So I would say, Take their advice when it comes to the checking of the answers. Make sure your answers are correct. But if it's a test, um, do you really have time to you know, come up with the best proof in a testing situation? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I remember abstract algebra exams that I took uh, where I'd have to write a simple proof and I'd get my test back. I thought, wow, my answer is very formulaic and long-winded, but hey, it's correct and I got a check and I got 100. And that's what matters. Sure, if I was doing it at home for homework, I could probably condense it and, and do a better job. But Focus on doing things correctly. Keep explaining if you have to. And just accept the criticism and, and try to accept it in a positive light. Again, I, I feel you. I've, I've been criticized for being too wordy, but that didn't happen to me until graduate school, right? And I remember that, that, that day when I got that assignment back with the purple crayon, I think the professor was, um, I think he was upset with the rest of the class. And he got up in front of the class and he he let us have it. He's like, oh, you all are supposed to be mathematicians. You know, this this level of work is just not acceptable. Um, you cannot be writing proofs like this. I mean, he, he really let everyone have it uh, when it came to that assignment. So there was something in particular about that assignment, perhaps, that um, was just kind of tough. I think there was a lot of knowledge that was required on that assignment that we just didn't have like we were just expected to know all of this field theory which which makes sense it's graduate school they can expect whatever they want and we just have to do it right that's how it is in mathematics you just have to pr produce right you just have to make it happen but you're in high school i i don't think that um, you should worry too much about the criticism try to take it in a positive light and just focus on being correct and and keep explaining i don't think you should stop doing that. i think it's good i think it's good to explain things I look back on all the exams I've graded uh, from years of teaching, and I look back at students who explain things, and even if they were obvious, I always thought, it's so good. It's so good that they're making the extra effort to explain. Instead of just working through the steps, they're, they're going through it, and they're taking this extra effort to explain, and I respect that, and I think that's admirable, and I think that's a good thing. So I'm not saying your teacher's wrong, I'm just saying my point of view is different from your teacher's. I do agree with the teacher that time is well spent uh, checking over answers because at the end of the day, you want to get a good grade. So focus on getting everything correct and explain away, my friend. Um, mathematics is about explaining things. And it's, it's really not until you get to the graduate level, if you get there, that you start to get criticized for having solutions that are too long or too wordy. So yeah. Yeah, I, I can go on about this forever. I'll, one last thing. One time I had an assignment. It was an abstract algebra assignment and it was a proof and the proof involved, it was something with modules, okay? And I gave this crazy, crazy long-winded proof where it had like this like nested chain of modules and I got it wrong. And I know it was right, so I had to go 
and sit with the professor and like this is what I did in the proof this is this step here and he was just so mind boggled he's like okay I get it he did not grade the assignments we had a grader and I think the grader at the time just did not understand how convoluted my proof was but yeah so sometimes our explanations aren't the best but that's how it is when we're learning and honestly sometimes alternate explanations to proofs and things are interesting right an alternate proof is interesting the best proof is the simplest one that's what people say and i tend to agree but it's fun to look at different avenues and don't uh don't stop explaining i think it's a good thing kind of a rant video because you know i, I have experience with this i've been criticized too uh for being too long-winded or for not writing enough being criticized for not writing enough is something that i think most people can relate to and what will happen right it will happen to you in an undergraduate class on proof writing if you don't show the steps so continue to show the steps focus on correctness that's what you should take away from this video kind of a rant if you want to learn mathematics i do have math courses you can check them out on my website mathsourcer.com my courses are actually on the udemy platform but if you check them out please use the links through my website um, because it helps me and also you do get uh, I think you get the lowest price because I lowered the prices to like the minimum it let me. So yeah. Also, if you found any value in this content, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post all kinds of content on this channel, math, physics, sometimes investing, sometimes fitness, all, all kinds of stuff, uh, mostly mathematics type stuff. And yeah. So again, moral of this video is focus on being correct. I agree with your teacher there. But at the same time, I, I do think that it's good that you're explaining things. Don't stop doing that. I, I remember when that happened to me when I was in, and I was in grad school, I felt really crushed because I was really working hard to explain something that I thought wasn't obvious, but the grader thought it was obvious. And they wrote, this is obvious in that purple crayon. And I'm still traumatized by that purple crayon. Um, don't, 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 don't be like me, right? Move past it. Keep explaining. Focus on getting hundreds. Be awesome. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.